and a nice guy on the other side who was on the other side, he put three people in his car, in his car and took them to hospital. And the, the guy on the street, he was trying to ring his wife, or the one I heard, and the other guy I could see was, he was in bad shape, but I couldn't get to him because of, that was where directly the gunfire was coming from. And, um, and the guy I was compressing, he, um, he was trying to ring his wife and I managed to get it and I answered the phone and I said to her, your husband's been shot outside the mosque. I said, and don't come here to Dean's Ave, you won't get through, but please go to the hospital, wait for him. And then I kept talking to him and telling him that she was at the hospital waiting and he wasn't to give up and yeah, we just kept pressure on and did the best we could for him until we got him some help. Yeah, and, the, and in the meantime, the poor guy across the road passed away. And my car's still down there. Oh, Jill, that's yeah. so that's so <laughs> terrible. But I've never, I never thought of. I'm 66. Never thought of my life. I'd love to see something like this, not in New Zealand. So horrible. And can yeah. we really commend you for what you did? You're really a hero for taking no, care of that boy. No, just you just do what you do at the time. I wish I could have done more.